I was a soccer star growing up and I wanted nothing to do with volleyball. I started playing volleyball because my mom like physically dragged me into a volleyball tryout and made me like try out with all these like girls in their spandex and all their matching shirts and I was wearing basketball shorts, basketball shoes and like a soccer shirt. I didn't want to play past college until I think my junior year. I honestly was thinking about quitting just because like I didn't love the sport anymore. Like this sport that is just so much of my identity and so ingrained in my DNA just wasn't fun for me. It didn't bring me joy. Um, but when I made the decision to go to Wisconsin, I found amazing humans and they really pushed me to find my love for the sport again. So that's when I was like, okay, like I think I could play professionally. Like I could, I could go with the big dogs up there. So my senior year, I realized that I tore both my hip labrums and I just decided like, I'm not gonna medically redshirt. Like this team has the potential to win a national championship and I wanna be a part of that. And then right after the national championship, I got the surgeries done. And that was like my first major injury I've ever had. It was a nine month long recovery process. And that's a lot of mental toughness. And that was probably one of the biggest like bumps of my career, like trying to get over that. If you doubt yourself and you're like, wait, why am I here? That's not good. I want to be the best Libro that I can be. And I think I have the potential to be the best Libro in the country. And just like always having that in the back of my mind and believing in that. And I think mental toughness, like knowing that, yeah, things are going to get hard, but I can get through this. Women's athletic, it's a weird time for them right now. I think it's important to encourage like those young girls, like, hey, like this is what you can be. You can have those huge dreams and you can actually like succeed.